Cody Barramani, Product Engineering Manager here at Eastwood. Today, we're talking about the best way to keep your TIG torch cool on those long welds. So what is a TIG torch cooler? Well, it flows water and coolant through a unique torch, and it's designed to allow you to weld longer and at a higher amperage without your glove hand getting too hot and your torch just almost melting. So how does it work? Well, this one, it's pretty simple, real easy to use, and it's perfect for our machines. So we've got a nice stainless steel reservoir here, and this holds our mixture of coolant and water. It's got a pump, and it pumps the coolant and water out and into the torch, and then the torch also has a return. So it's circulating that coolant water mixture in this reservoir, and with this reservoir being stainless, it also helps radiate the heat out. Using this setup here, we've seen temp drops as high as 200 degrees. So who really needs this? Well, if you've ever found your TIG torch just gets too hot in your glove and you gotta stop, stop your weld, and then you're gonna have to come back, start again, this is perfect for you. This is perfect for the guys welding thick aluminum, thick steel. They're doing long welds, say over two feet. Like we were able to weld eight feet consistently with this machine in quarter inch aluminum. And the torch was still easy to hold, still very comfortable, you still got a precise weld. So we're gonna go get this TIG cooler all set up on a TIG 200 ACDC, do some welding. Super easy to install and get up and running. Additionally, this torch cooler works with almost all of our other machines. The TIG 200 Digital, the TIG 200 ACDC, and the TIG 200 DC. You just have to make sure yours has a DINS connection right next to your torch connection because you're going to hook up to both. Now that you know everything about our TIG torch cooler, we're gonna get it all set up and lay some beads. All right, the first part of this setup is getting our water coolant mixture just right. We've already got about 150 ounces of water in here, and we're gonna use our TIG Torch water coolant. Now we recommend a 10 to one ratio here, so we're gonna use about half this quart. Now this TIG Torch water coolant, it's not a must have, but we highly recommend it if you plan on keeping your whole system filled. And that's because it eliminates corrosion and buildup in the system, and it also gives some freeze protection down to 26 degrees. If you don't use this, really recommend using a high quality filtered water and also draining this system every single time after you use it. All right, so this TIG torch cooler is real easy to set up on the machine. You're gonna use your M16 torch connection, and now just your shielding gas is gonna flow through this. All of your power is gonna run through your 10-25 DINS connection. If you're gonna use the torch trigger, you gotta connect your five pin connection here. Otherwise, you're just gonna keep your foot pedal installed. Lastly, don't forget to connect your ground. Now the next part of setup is figuring out where you're gonna put your TIG torch cooler reservoir. Now, the easiest thing to do is use it as is, put it on the bottom of your cart, then it's easy to get to, it's easy to change the coolant or drain, and it's just, you know, a nice compact setup. Additionally, we've got two brackets that we offer as accessories. We've got a wall mount bracket that you can mount on a wall or on the side of your cart, or we've got a gas bottle bracket. We really like this gas bottle bracket because it kind of puts it out of the way. You can still use the bottom of your cart and it's still easy to change your coolant. We've got one last step before we get all up and running, and that's connecting our torch coolant hoses. Now you've got an outlet and a return, and you've also got an inlet and a return. So we're gonna connect our inlet hose to the outlet of the cooler, and our return hose right to here. Now, one thing to note, we've made these hoses extra long, and that's to give you some flexibility in where you put this torch cooler. Feel free to cut these down put some heat shrink on the end so that they don't fray, and you'll be good to go. Just like that, we're all set up. No leaks, we're ready to weld. So we've got this big piece of quarter inch aluminum. We've got it set up in a T-joint. We've got the machine turned all the way up to 200 amps. We're using our water-cooled torch. We're gonna run this length of filler 
take a quick temp measurement right afterwards, see where we're at. Let's kick this off. Not bad, 150, 160 degrees right at that head. Now if you try to get those consumables, you know, maybe 200 up there. I mean, it's definitely getting warm, but we'll see what the air-cooled torch does. All right, so for a little reality check here, we've got our WP17F flex head air-cooled torch. This is what comes with our TIG 200 ACDC, same piece of material. Let's see how far we can even weld before this gets too hot to handle. All right, so I was able to go you know, decent distance, not quite as far. Let's check this torch temperature. Now we're up at 287, 275, 297 there. 250, 305, 430 there. It's a little tricky to make sure you don't get the table, but you know, this torch is hot. The results don't lie. That air-cooled torch, I wasn't able to weld as long, my hands were getting hot, and there's no way I would have been able to keep going. We saw a temperature difference of over 200 degrees in some spots. This TIG torch water cooler really makes a difference. Imagine if I was doing an oil pan or a valve cover and I had six, seven feet of weld, there's no way I'd get it done quickly with an air-cooled torch. Now, on top of that, we offer two different torches. So we were using the mini torch here. This is the smaller one. It runs on number nine consumables. It's a WP20. If you need even more amperage and you're doing even more bigger projects, we also offer the WP18. That's the same size as that WP17 air-cooled torch, but you have a lot more amperage capacity and a lot more duty cycle because it's water-cooled. So we're gonna keep one of these permanently set up on one of our machines, and we're gonna be using it a ton in real-world applications. Make sure you check out our YouTube page where you'll be able to see more of these videos. If you want more information about the product, check out eastwood.com.